What's up, beating girls? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start today's day. So today's topic is one of those topics which I have a very strong feeling that this topic or this area, data science, is going to be so massive. See, IT industry is industry which has always been there and it will be there. Data science, especially is a new topic for Germany itself so uh, there is a friend of mine her name is Anamika so I'm gonna go and meet her and to speak about what are they teaching what subjects are there how did she come here what is the scope of that subject what is the job market look like so stay tuned if this is of your interest keep watching let's start so this is one of the student Wannaheims yeah, if I get a permission from Anamika to show her room, I'll also tell you which location this is since it's, uh, she studies in HTW Berlin, which is pretty close to her university, like 10-15 minutes maximum. But yeah, if she gives me permission, I'm going to show you how does the room look like. And I'm going to show you what facilities do they offer, as in, in terms of what furnitures, do you need to buy anything and all that. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So, as I told you guys, uh, she is Anamika. Hello. Um, we would like to show them the room uh, where you're staying mm -hmm. and what they can expect if they get a student in back apartment. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, walk me through, please. So, this is the bathroom. Okay. We don't want to get into details there. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> but uh, so this is rent work, which is shared by three people. Okay. And that's the common bathroom. Uh huh. And uh, this is your kitchen. Okay. And everything is provided by student and work. So you got all the microwave, fridge? Uh, no, the microwave is ours, but the fridge and uh, here, whatever is there. Mm -hmm. Of course, utensils are us, it's not theirs, but the table there, yeah. and that's provided by student and work. Okay. And but the gas range? Everything. Uh, table, shelves, fridge. Yeah. Yes. And you have a you know, yeah, fridge is divided for three shelf, people, right? Yeah, like for three people. Uh -huh. and we have divided it like every person has one shelf. The same you can see three here. Yeah, so I can see like one, one, two, three here, right here. Okay. Yeah. Cleaning your own room is your thing. Oh yeah. Yes. But common place has to be always clean. Okay. And that's one room. There's uh, one more room here. We're not gonna get in there. Uh, uh, and that's again another room. Right, since you said three people, so yeah. that's like two rooms and this is your room. Yeah, and this is my one. Okay, it's we can room. show this, right? Yeah, I can show you my room, of course. Wow. It's not really, really clean, but I've tried to make it better. <laughs> yes. So, what all did you get? Quickly, you have so 30 seconds quickly, to say. Quickly, we have 30 seconds. I got this, okay. I got this, and I got the bed, and all I got right. the table and the chair, and that's it. Rest so, everything table, is mine. chair. This the bed w with the mattress without mattress. with the mattress okay with mattress with the ma only the mattress nothing else okay like duvet and all is yours you you put the blanket yes, yeah, uh, cupboard the cupboard and this and the, okay and rest whatever you see is mine like the sofa is mine the lights are mine the curtains are mine and everything else is yours so whatever you want to do in your room it should yeah. be yours Okay, that painting what you see, it's a, actually a painting, it's not a sticker or anything. No, it's a painting, so <laughs> I moved in in December and okay. it was like uh, really depressing because it was 1st December in yeah. Germany and that's when your artistic things comes out and I painted it. But to remember that when you have to give back this uh, house, it has to be exactly the way I got it. So I have to paint everything white again. That's true. So whatever you do, everything has to be on yours. Like any any drilling you do, any painting you put, anything you have to put it back. Paint yourself white and do it. Right. Let's uh, let's talk about the course now. And Amika, why don't we start with a quick quick background of where you come from? What studies have you done? What if you have a work experience? Um, by the way, just so you know, I'm just getting to know her. Also, mm -hmm. uh, I met her through a friend of mine. Anyway, okay. let's go ahead. Okay, so uh, I come from India, of course, I was born in the East, but I'm actually from the South and I studied in the East and then I studied in Chennai and then I've done engineering in uh, electrical and electronics and that was way back, uh, nine years back. After oh. that I started working in IT and I was working for TCS for nine years and in that I was always working in the data science field, like I was a database developer for Oracle. Okay. And for that, uh, working like seven years in India, 
After that, I moved to Germany. I worked one year in Munich for a company here. Mm. It's called Infinia. It's into semiconductor production. Mm -hmm. And after that, I moved to Malaysia again for Infinia. And I was working there for a year. After that, uh, I decided that I want to come back to Germany. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to come back uh, to studies because I met a lot of students when I was working back in Munich and I had a lot of interaction with them yeah. and that's when I realized that a uh, master's in Germany is something which is nice and I loved Germany when I was here so I knew I want to come back and that's when I came back to Berlin and I applied for this course uh, because it's uh, a combination of project management and data science and for me, I'm always working in the data field, like my entire experience is as a database developer. So it was the best choice. And when I hold so much of experience, it's mm -hmm. always good to have experience of project management as well. Because in your career path, you cannot always be a developer and grow. Mm -hmm. At any point of time, you have to move to management. Yeah. So I found this right blend really good. And that's why I took this course. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, thanks a lot for that uh, comprehensive introduction. Moving on, let's move on and talk a bit more specific in terms of if someone sitting there uh, wants to apply for this same course. Mm -hmm. Major two questions. One, how does the profile should look like? Mm -hmm. Two is if that person fulfills the first point of yours, um, how should they apply? Well, uh I think the first and most important thing when you apply for a master's is uh, you should be very clear on what uh, what is the subject on which you want to do. Okay. Once your subject is very clear, of course I feel that you know the country is clear, that you know that you want to do it in Germany. Mm -hmm. So when you know that a subject is clear, for me I was very clear I want data science because I have I hold experience of the last so many years working only in the data science mm -hmm. field. So I knew that if I do a master's in this, it's an add-on to my last year many years of experience yeah. so uh, if you really are very interested in your career path and you want to grow in your career then I feel if you're applying for a, this course then you should hold some knowledge about data science okay. either you should be like a database developer if not developer you should have some programming language and that too like more on the database side maybe SQL maybe PLSQL maybe BI business analytics but something related to data you know you cannot say that you were working in C C++ mm. that's like a UI language so okay. you have to know data but okay. little bit of that is good and of course if you know Python that mm -hmm. is really nice because Python is the next big thing mm -hmm. but in short if you hold a experience of something added to data then it's a really good subject but you should not forget that this course is a blend of uh, project management and data science so you have 50% of both yeah so if you're just interested in data science and not in project management then it is something where you would feel that you're wasting your time and effort in attending classes for project management mm -hmm. but you should not forget that there must be people who have come here for project management and not for data science. Yeah. So somewhere you have to have, you should be able to draw a line that I'm on both. Okay. Okay. That's when it starts. And how to apply? I For me, um, I just, there are a lot of maybe agencies which help you to do it. But for me, since I was already in this country, I knew how it works. So it was quite simple. I went to DAD, D-A-A-D dot D-E website wherein you have all your universities listed of yeah. Germany and the courses. Mm -hmm. So that's how I found out about this course. Okay. And uh, I just went through the website and I found out what all they want. Right. They basically wanted your IELTS sub, uh, score and they wanted a motivation letter from you saying mm. why do you want to apply for it and then your transcripts mm. and... Uh, yeah, basically that's it. How much did you score in LTS? I think, uh, well, my case was very different. I actually first sent them the application and I just told them that I'm writing my IELTS. I haven't written it yet and they were okay with it. Maybe because my application was really strong. Yeah. So later I sent them my score after I got the admission and they said that for your final admission, I need your scores. Yeah. And I think I got, I don't remember, seven I think. Seven bands, yeah. I, overall I overall yeah, okay. yeah. No i don't remember roughly what should be seven got it okay yeah. so my next question for you is 
What subjects are you studying in this course? First uh, semester it was uh, International Project Management, uh, first one, in which we learned about what are the different methodologies about project management, the different ways of like agile management mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Entirely it was the theoretical one, but okay. we had a, uh, we did student projects wherein it was more about implementing those methodologies and not just reading it because it's really boring when you just read yeah. about project management. That was the first one and we had the first paper of uh, data science in the first semester wherein it was more about statistics, mm -hmm. uh, starting from very basic of Excel to uh, SPSS which is another tool and it is for okay. statistical modeling. We did that and a little bit of R. Apart from that, we had uh, we use uh, we use, sometimes every semester on your weekend you have courses wherein they teach you new tools. So for us in the first semester we we had a course of two days with Tableau. Mm -hmm. So it was a Saturday Sunday thing where you yeah. register for yourself and we learned Tableau and we got a certificate from Tableau. Okay. That was really helpful because uh, Tableau is something which is very good in the market. And at the end of it, it's, it has helped us got, job, got a job, like I got a job because of a new Tableau. Right. I think so. we're going to get talk about the part-time jobs mm -hmm. and all that in a while. Yeah. So, um, your course is divided into four semesters. Yes. So, three semester you have classroom setting sessions, yeah. fourth semester is thesis. Yes. Right. You are in Germany for one year right now. Uh, yeah, I can. Are you writing a second semester right now? No. Starting the third semester. Okay, so you've completed one year. One and year. Then, yeah. and this is your third semester starting. Yes. Then next six more months, and then after that you write. Yeah, thesis. and the thesis part. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, Anamika. A lot of people have this concern of managing money and expenses mm -hmm. here. Two questions: Have you got a part-time job? And what is your cost of living? My second question is. First question: Yes, I have a part-time job. I'm working a student job, which is twenty hours a week. Right. And uh, cost of living, um, uh, when you come as a student, you mm. have this thing of a block account where mm. you can only uh, withdraw, I think, 700 or something. 720. 720, yeah. yeah. So 720, you can only withdraw, which is good enough for your month because if we, let's start, what are your expenses? The first thing is, uh, I assume that I'm not calculating your 300 euros, which you pay as your semester fees, yeah, the right. semester ticket. Right. That's a part. Yeah, you're not calculating it. Yeah. So we have the rent. So roughly, if you manage to get a student in work, mm -hmm. which is very difficult to get in Germany, yeah. but if you get it, then you wouldn't pay more than like 250. For my room, I'm paying two, uh, 30 euros mm -hmm. and uh, 10 euros more for the internet because in this student in work, they have included the internet from last month. Right. Uh, let's say 240 is your that thing. And then apart from that, uh, insurance depends if you are in a uh, private insurance, it's 30, 40 euros. But right. if you are in a public, it's uh, let's take 100 more euros. Right. So it's like 350 close mm -hmm. to. And then apart from that, uh, it's about how much do you spend for eating and stuff. So mm. Berlin for a student, I think it's the really best choice because it's very cheap. So it depends. I would say that weekly, even if you put 20 euros and uh, 20 euros is only for shopping at the supermarket mm. and then you cook at home and do stuff. Still 150 to 200 is maximum. And if you step out, maybe 250 or 300 more. Yeah. That's it. So that makes it what close to five hundred or six hundred a month. Five to Assuming that you are going out, you are partying, and you are doing yeah. stuff, and not just sitting at home. Right. But if you are ready to sit at home and save money and stuff, maximum I would say is five hundred, not 500. more than that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Amika, I want to ask you, what is the scope of this course in the market? What kind of jobs can I expect after completing this course? Uh, first of all, this the scope is huge especially in Germany because uh, Germany is somewhere a little bit behind US in terms of data science and technologies so you could get so data science would be divided into three parts you could get a job wherein you are doing proper statistical stuff mm -hmm. you could do analysis where you build models and do statistical modeling you could go into analysis where you are doing the job of uh, data analyst 
and playing with numbers, coming with uh, different business solutions, looking at the numbers. Mm -hmm. You could go as a visualization wherein you build dashboards mm -hmm. and you are helping the, your uh, company. So there are different scopes or you could just go as a machine learning scientist and the entire thing would be in machine learning. So this course is giving you a gateway. It, it's, it exposes you to all possibilities of data science yeah. and then you are the one who you should choose which field you want to go mm -hmm. and you have to yourself work on that. So we cannot expect that, you know, the course is going to teach you everything. It is just going to give you introduction and right. then you have to put in your time and your effort to learn that mm. and to apply and make a career in whatever you want to do. So there are many options. Right. So, I mean, a lot of people have confusion um, about jobs since there is no uh, job placements. There is no company which comes on any yeah. of the German company uh, universities. Yeah. You have to go out and hunt for yourself. Yeah. What is your approach on that? How can, if you want to advise someone before they even have done the course? I think first thing that you have to understand that in Germany, if you are good and if you know, you will get a job. Right. But like they scrutinize you a lot. For example, my my interview, they took like three hours of interview just for a student job, yeah. They went through my resume, each and every word. So even if I've written that I know something, which I did maybe when I was back in engineering, they asked me even that. Okay. So you should be very specific in your resume. Whatever you have written, you should know. If you don't know, remove it. Don't try it. They don't need like five pages of resume. Mm. It's fine if you give them one page, but you should know everything, whatever you have written in that. Right. And getting job, it's, well, if you're from IT and technical background, then it's not that difficult. I got it, my first job was in a startup. I got it through one of the events where I went for, it was mm -hmm. called Data Natives event, where you had all the companies who had come there and it was a two days event. Right. So I made contacts there and then they went through my LinkedIn profile and they approached me for the job. That was my first one. After that, uh, I got through uh, like Indeed and LinkedIn and online portals yeah. on applying through the websites. But yeah, your resume really matters and more than resume, your motivation letter matters. Like in, and well in India, we never had something called a motivation letter yeah. or a cover letter. But here it's really important. You know, they see more about why do you want this job and they just don't see that, yeah, technically this person is good, so we can take him. Mm -hmm. They see why do you want this job? How passionate are you about the job? Mm -hmm. And how well do you fit in the company? Like for me, I had first round technical of one and a half hours, second round again a technical round, and third round was entirely upon why do you want to join Amazon? and stuff like that that what good can you do for the company and right. why do you think that this field is good for you and i had to really convince them telling that why i want this mm -hmm. and then they also asked me that you have been nine years into like supply chain industry and manufacturing now you want to switch to a, a online thing why do you want to make this change so right. like you'll be very clear of what you want and you can get a job just right. probably a last question so your co uh, your course is a paid course yes um how much is the f total fees for this uh it's sixteen thousand euros okay. for the entire tuition fees mm -hmm. and apart from that 300 euros every semester okay all right and omega thanks a lot for thanks that such a uh, in-depth knowledge what we got from from you um i hope that people have received it very well guys, yeah. if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time bye bye bye, -bye.